this is a very, very busy young shell bus station. How you would know which bus to take is beyond me, though. It's a waterfall step down here. Water, and this take a little water plant inside. This one is made in a stone. Mm -hmm. And this one is made in a hard black ink. It's a ink stone. And this ink stone is made in a bamboo charcoal. And with water you can move it. It's similar like this what color black ink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one is coming on the table, hoping the brush like that. Hoping the brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these two brushes, white color is made in animal sheet. You know, sheet here is more soft. Good for the painting, like uh, pictures, yeah? Oh, this two is dark color, it's made in the animal wolf. You know, wolf here, big dog, yeah? Wolf here is a little more strong, good for the calligraphy, for the writing. And this two is for the name chop, chop stamp. Do you have a name stamp? And the inside is all your ink, red color for stamp, you can put on the paper. In the Chinese artist, always painting finish with a stamp on that, just for that people remember who is artist. Right, yeah. who the chop is. Yeah. Right. Sometimes if you do for the flower, change different ink for different pictures. This is better now. These are hers. Good. And these are mine. It's supposed to be a bamboo leaf. It looks like a duck to me. See how perfect hers are. It's on rice paper, which really sops up the ink. I'm working very hard on my bamboo leaves, but this is supposed to be straight like hers, and mine are big and fat like this. Not quite good enough. I will never make it as a Chinese painting artist. My bamboo leaves look like they're fat rose buds, but not bad for first attempt. I love those green beans. They're so good. 